Welcome to the Born on This Day channel, where we take an in-depth look at the lives and legacies of remarkable personalities. Today, we're delving into the life and legacy of Eze, a renowned character who helped shape the sound of West Coast hip-hop. Born on September 7, 1963, Eric Eze Wright rose from Compton to California to become one of the most important voices in rap music. Eze, who was born in Compton, faced hardships throughout his life as a result of his involvement in the local drug trade. Despite these difficulties, he channeled his emotions into his music, laying the groundwork for his future hip-hop endeavors. His early life in Compton greatly influenced his lyrical content and musical style. Eze created NWA in 1987 with Dr. Dre, Ice Cube, MC Ren, and DJ Yella. The trio popularized gangsta rap, a gritty street life music. NWA's original style merged hard-hitting beats with socially conscious lyrics, changing the rap music scene and signaling a watershed moment in hip-hop. NWA's 1988 first album, Straight Outta Compton, was a game-changing project that addressed themes of police brutality and systematic racism with singles like F Asterisk 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 The Police. The album's raw, unabashed style propelled NWA to prominence and stirred discussions about social injustice. Eze's distinctive voice and authoritative presence contributed significantly to NWA's popularity. As a founding member, he made significant contributions to the group's lyrics and general sound. His ability to deliver powerful verses with a captivating edge set him apart from the rest of the group. Eze's involvement with NWA helped establish their image and message, cementing his position as a driving factor in the growth of gangsta rap. In 1987, Eze created Ruthless Records, which allowed him to preserve creative control while still supporting developing musicians. The label served as a springboard for well-known hip-hop musicians such as Dr. Dre, who went on to release successful albums of their own. Eze's entrepreneurial mentality had a big impact on Ruthless Records' popularity and influence in the music industry. Eze launched his solo career with his debut album, Eze Does It, which was released in 1988. The album was a commercial success, with hits including Boys in the Hood and We Want Easy. These songs showed his poetic prowess and narrative abilities, establishing him as a well-known performer in his own right. Easy Does It demonstrated Eze's versatility and cemented his place as a key figure in hip-hop. Eze's effect on hip-hop went far beyond his own music. His bold attitude to societal themes, as well as his role in popularizing gangsta rap, served to alter the genre. Eze's impact may be seen in how he affected following musicians and shaped the course of hip-hop. His achievements paved the path for future generations, ensuring that his legacy remains relevant in the industry. Eze's personal life was frequently surrounded by scandal and public attention. He had legal issues and disagreements with other artists, which frequently made news. Despite these limitations, his contributions to music were important. Eze's ability to handle personal challenges while maintaining his impact in the music industry demonstrates his tenacity and dedication to his work. In early 1995, Eze was diagnosed with AIDS, which quickly weakened his health. His diagnosis was a devastating blow to the music industry, and his health deteriorated rapidly. On March 26, 1995, Eze died at the age of 31. His death was a tremendous loss to his fans and the music industry, signaling the end of a magnificent career that was sadly cut short. Eze's legacy lives on through his groundbreaking contributions to hip-hop. His contributions to gangsta rap and influence on the genre are still well recognized. His influence is evident in the continual relevancy of his music and the respect he commands in the business. Eze's history demonstrates his huge impact on the hip-hop landscape. Following his passing, Eze received various tributes and recognitions. His collaboration with NWA and his solo efforts are regarded as watershed moments in music history. Several prizes and distinctions have been bestowed in his memory, demonstrating his long-lasting impact on the business. Eze's accomplishments are often recognized in retrospectives and tributes. Eze's cultural effect goes beyond his songs. He was instrumental in drawing attention to critical societal concerns through his lyrics. His candid opinion on issues such as police brutality and racial inequity influenced broader cultural discourse. Eze's work has shaped popular attitudes and sparked discussions about social justice. 
Eazy -E famously said, I'm a gangster, but I'm also a businessman. This phrase encapsulates his twin roles as an influential artist and a clever entrepreneur. Eazy -E's ability to mix artistic vision with financial savvy was critical to his success. His statements and anecdotes shed light on his personality and attitude to his job. When we look back on Eazy -E's life, we can say that he was a pioneering force in hip-hop, with raw, revolutionary music that reshaped the genre and addressed social issues. His impact extends beyond his revolutionary tracks, leaving an enduring legacy as a trendsetter and cultural figure in music. Thank you for joining us as we explored EZE's extraordinary life and legacy, whose contributions to music and culture continue to inspire and impact. EZE's influence on hip-hop is undeniable, and his legacy lives on through his timeless music and the lasting impression he left on the industry. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for more stories of influential personalities born on this day.